Good morning guys from another sunny day here in Mexico. Today me and my friends are heading off on a road trip. We are going to Valladolid and we are also going to check out some cenotes and as always I'm bringing you guys on the adventure with me. Our first stop today is Cenote Saitun. Saitun. This is one of the more famous ones very close to Valladolid. Uh, it costs 120 pesos to get in and I think we're already in awe because we've come to the entrance and it's just these crazy steep steps going down, down, down into the ground. Not really anyone around. Check this out. This is pretty crazy. It's quite steep. Private Yeah. <laughs> so cool. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> oh no, look, the stand is covered. You know that place where normally people take a picture? Oh, really? Yeah, I guess because the water's so high because all the rain and stuff. Oh, right. So oh, normally, that's, that's, normally that's above water and people stand in the middle and you get a really cool picture. Oh, that's a lot more water. You can yeah. jump in though, I guess. Oh yeah, it's still really cool. It's not a type, is it? Oh yeah. The stalagmites and stalactites. Oh, it's chilly. <laughs> yeah. It's cold, guys. I think we just need to like oh jump in. Oh god. Every <laughs> summer. No, it's. And the light beams are coming down, reflecting there, and they're reflecting in the water. Yeah, every time you that's weird Oh, we just had so much fun in that cenote. It was so, so beautiful. Uh, the water was about three meters higher than it usually is. So the photos were quite different. We couldn't sort of stand on that middle platform, but it was still beautiful and still fun. We're just walking out of the cenote now. We've just seen some guy that is doing like body painting. So Tara is gonna get some like cool body painting designs on her arms. And then we're heading to Valladolid city. Delete, and we have no idea what we're doing, where we're doing, what we're doing, where we're going, what there is to see here. We've literally just driven here and now we're just gonna walk around, probably get something to eat and maybe check out the local market and yeah, bring you guys along on the journey. So I've just seen the cutest little pouch bag ever. Um, it's just 200 pesos and it perfectly fits my passport. So I can put my passport in and keep my passport safe and maybe use it for a nice out as well if I don't want to bring a big bag with me. find any street food in Valo de Lide because apparently in some cities they're not really doing street food for safety reasons but I've uh, just found a little taco stand here so had to order two tacos I love the way they double wrap them. I really yeah. love that. That's how you know it's oh, yeah. work. Mm. I love that. I'm going to mine. Mm. And I'll get something else. No, no, I'll see. I'll wait. Sure? I'll yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. How is it? Mm. Really good. Kettle juice. DVDs. Hey, Dougie. Ooh, what's that? Oh, Looks really good. Yeah. Okay, even though it's like 11.30 in the morning, I don't even care. These food stands look so amazing. We've just stopped at another one. It's called Taqueria El Tigrillo. Tigrillo. The Tiger Taqueria. And they actually have totally different types of food that I've seen. 
So I'm, I have not seen this street food in Tulum. It's like a really tiny little bread roll, and then they're like stuffing, stuffing it with meat, and it looks incredible. Yeah, it's just coconut, like, wow. and sugar, like, caramelized. Yeah. These look so good. Okay, so the girls are going to try some coconut brittle, and it's only 15 pesos. Como regulador funcional de su organismo. En primer lugar, amigo, amiga, vamos a hablar de los riñones. So this is our next stop, Zachi. So entrance is just 30 pesos. Good, thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the Cerotes Thank you. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> yeah. You scared us. Did you like a photo? Oh, not right now. Thank you. Got that on video. Because she don't know that that was No! <laughs> I just, just saw the one guy. Oh, this is cool. Jesus. Oh. See what I mean? They're all so different. Oh. Color of the water. Wow. Wow. It's like a good swimming one. Yeah. Woo hoo! Woo hoo! <laughs> Your turn. I guess it's my turn. <laughs> oh god, it's high. Scared of like losing my GoPro. Well done, you. <laughs> that was cool. He jumped from up there. I think if the camera wasn't on me, I probably would have taken a few um, oh, really? <laughs> attempts. To... <laughs> I was like, shit, people are looking, I gotta jump in. <laughs> that was so fun, it was actually quite far. <laughs> I was like, da 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 da. <laughs> no, no jumping? No, I was like, We've just left Zachi Cenote, and right next to the Cenote, <laughs> right next to the Cenote is this really beautiful clothes market. It's like trinkets, earrings, hammocks, all that kind of stuff. A lot of traditional clothing, and um, it's definitely worth a visit. So if you go to the Cenote, just you go through where the toilets are, and then out at the other side is this really cute market. Hola, welcome. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? How are you? Uh, bien, gracias. Where are you from? Uh, Ireland. From Ireland. 
It's like, kind of like a French donut, toast. but it's kind of eggy yeah. or something. Yeah, like, like cold French toast. Yeah, that toast. is what it is, yeah. Uh, this is all at, what is it, Panay y Pastel? After a very busy but fun day exploring Vallo de Lide, Cenote Saitun, and Cenote Zachi, we hopped back in the car for another few sing songs and started driving back to Tulum, where we are all currently living. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, think about giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel below. Miss the way.